Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how to do a parallax image background. So to give you a glimpse of what we'll be doing today, it's going to be like this. So you can go on to Webflow University and look at the tutorial, but I felt like he didn't explain it super well, like step by step. So this is what I'm going to be doing with you today. So if you go into Webflow, we're going to be creating, I can also, I will also show you how to do with text as well. So what you want to do first is to create a section. So you want to add a section and then on the left hand side, I made the minimum height as 100 BH. So we have a little room to work with. Then what you want to do is to add a div block and then add your image within the div block. So let's do that. Div block. And then we're going to adjust the height. <clears throat> Where's the height? to be, let's say, 500 pixels. So this is where it is. And then what you want to do is go into background, add your image. I will link a photo so you can use just to practice. So you can choose, I think I chose, let's try a pancake. You can choose whatever image that you have. And then right now it's like scaled, so you can't really see anything. So what you want to do next is hit cover and click fixed. So now you're able to scroll, except we just see a spoon. So we're going to change the image or we can adjust it. And there you go. That is how you parallax an image. You can use whatever image you have. I just used a pancake. Select whatever you want in the folder. I'll link it down below. But that's how you create that, um, that scrolling image as you see in the other video. Now, if you want to do it for a text, for example, like this, what I did was I added a div block and then you add a heading inside the div block. Let me show you. So I have a new section right here. You want to add a div block. And then you have your heading, which is the photography. And then you're going to add a background to the div block. So let me show you on the right hand side. My background, if I were to take that out, it doesn't show anything because I clipped the background to the text. So right now it's a regular, regular text. So you add your div block, you add the heading, and then under the div block, you want to make sure you have the div block selected. You go to background, you choose image, which I chose this green image. And right now it looks funky. So now you make sure you have it on fixed, cover, and click out, clipping, clip to text. And that's how you do the parallax to text. And that's about it. So this is a quick tutorial on how to do parallax background in images and text. I hope this was helpful for you. And if it is, let me, let me know, give me a like, anything, it'd be really helpful. And that's about it, thank you.